And boom! There it is! The propulsion cannon. It's, it's little grabby grabs. It's more like a... It's more like a Half-Life gravity gun. Unfortunately, unlike the one in Half-Life, this one runs out of power like you wouldn't believe. Well, that's where that one went. So yes, now we finally have everything we need. Uh, perhaps a little extra. Uh, oh, just let him go. Uh, perhaps a little extra stuff. Um, I need to em empty out my inventory because you find a lot of stuff on the Aurora. Like, probably one and a half, maybe even two in inventory loads. Uh, so, I think we will just... We'll just dump all my extra stuff here. You also need a welder, but I can or a uh, the cutting tool. But I'll be able to actually skip mo that for the most part. No, we're actually going to drop that too. We're going to take the incredibly slow way there. But in taking the slow way there, I will also cut so you don't have to watch the very, very, very slow way over there. has good battery life. Yes. I don't need the repair tool on my way over either. So we're going to drop that too. There we go. Okay. So now, we're going to make our way over. Uh, I also grabbed a few extra ingredients. Oh, this was my other dump place. Well, that's right. Just junk there anyways. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, so yeah, in my other file I found out the reason why I was taking radiation damage. And that's because when you make a radiation suit, you get your helmet and your suit, but that empty space, which I thought was the hands, is the hands. It's the gloves. The suit you pick up in the crash pod does not have gloves. So the suit I'm wearing is actually useless. Uh, first, let's find out how to make one. There we go. Two fiber mesh, two lead. Oh, shit. Oh, well, okay. We've gotta waste more time. Pretty sure it's just a reef back, but still. Okay, so I have everything I need to make two fiber mesh. I left my lead down there like a dum dum. Hopefully, I have some in here. Still looks like he's wearing an outfit. Well, we don't need this shit anymore. So we're gonna go make a proper radiation suit. You don't need it, but you lose a lot of health really fast if you don't have it. So, 
I guess you just have to make a radiation suit anyways. There we go, there's the gloves. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about radiation at all. It just makes everything easier. There we go. Now uh, I m might hear some... You... You might hear some radiation ticks, but as far as I know, it does not say radiation detected anymore because you are impervious to radiation now. Hmm. Actually... Just before we head over, I'm going to save, just in case we run into a Reaper Leviathan. I did on my other file. Uh, and... Lucky me. A trash can. Uh, lucky me, it decided to come after me. I, in fact, it... They usually stay, uh, like, at least a hundred meters below. So you'll see them in the distance, but that's all. So unless you actually invade their... Uh, uh, unless you actually invade their area, they'll typically leave you alone. But mine glitched to the surface in front of the entrance to the Aurora. So let's hope that doesn't happen to me. I also uh, noticed a different way into the Aurora, so I shouldn't need the, uh, the laser cutter. There we go, that's the bird I was looking for. I shouldn't need it. I should be able to go in the back way. So last time around, we went to the Aurora to collect some various things. And this time around, we're going to... Uh, grab the things we missed. For instance, in, uh, in one of their more recent updates, they uh, added a broken sea moth into it. So there's three broken pieces right inside the aurora, meaning you don't even have to go and find it at the bottom of the ocean elsewise. So... But yeah, here, I'll, I'll cut here, and we'll zoom in to where, uh, we'll zoom in to where we're just entering the Aurora. Now, the standard way into the Aurora is through the door there. However, there's actually a side route. Route, route. That I didn't notice. It took me five times getting on here. But yeah, I finally noticed the uh, side route. Where you only need... I oh, shit, no. Crap, I might still need the laser cutter. Oh, and I needed the repair tool. Ah. Oh. Crap. Okay. Well, once again, I'm unfortunately going to have to leave and come back with the repair tool. Because like a fool, I thought I didn't need it. But, oh, shit. Whew. Well, that was a close one. Okay. Okay, fine. I need the repair tool. No, 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 no. We'll see how far we can get. <sighs> wow, I thought I actually died there for a second. Clipped through this shit. So the propulsion cannon's a lot of fun. You can pick up heavier objects and move them out of the way. But you can also toss stuff with it, like these stupid cave crawlers. Goodbye! Look at him go! He's so far gone, you don't even see a splash. And that's a lot of fun, but every time you repulse something, it uses up 10% of the battery. 
So, you know, it, what the hell? Table coral sample. Oh, lead. Huh, I guess this is from my last time I was here. So there's not much point in actually getting rid of the uh, cave crawlers. You can also kill them by hand using your survival knife. Oh no. Oh no no no. I also need a fire extinguisher. Well, we'll see what we can do with what we have. Hope to get as far as possible. Oh no, wait, there is a fire extinguisher here. Fire extinguisher also consumes. Gets everything really fast. Almost a quarter done it, and just that was just the entrance. And there is propulsion gun fragments everywhere. There's more propulsion gun fragments in this game than there's freaking titanium almost. Ow. Ow again. There we go. Ow, ow, what the... Stupid fire go out already. Yay, data download. Altera launches the Aurora. Don't think there's anything besides... Oh, a battery. That's really nice. Oh yeah, and uh, for when I finally get around to my base, whenever that happens, we have posters! Because hey, who doesn't want a base with a poster in it? That way, when you get inside, you, you can look at a pretty poster. So yes, here is the alternate way into the base. Is that a... No, it's not a scannable. Never mind. Ta-da! Oh, sorry, the desk's in the way. And, uh, you... So far as I know, the only way to not shoot an item, oh, crazy, is to actually just put the weapon away, or the uh, propulsion gun away. As far as I can tell, that's the... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, what's going on? There we go, fine. Okay. Now we're going in the back way. Now the front way, you need a laser cutter and a repair tool. And I think the code to this is six. Four, uh, eight, and three. No, it isn't. Okay, I, I think I, the, one of the PDAs I picked up will tell me. Uh, data downloads codes. Uh, cargo bay code 1454. There we go. Ta-da, the cargo bay. Isn't it lovely? Dripping explosions, cargo everywhere. Ow. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. Uh. Whew. What? No, there was a. What? Okay, I could have sworn there was a thing back here before. But apparently not. That's weird. Um, well, whatever. There we go. Yeah, these supply crates are all over. And we will be finding lots and lots and lots of stuff. Unfortunately, because I don't have the repair tool, I can't actually repair the damage in the, uh... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't do repair the engines so that they quit leaking uh, radiation. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so there's a pro. One of the issues in the current version of Subnautica is you'll enter a wreck and there won't be anything there, so you'll just think it's an empty wreck, when in fact all it is is the game screwed up. So, in here are supposed to be Cyclops fragments, for instance. And they're not appearing. So, I was kind of hoping we could grab that. I really hope the other fragments I'm hoping for are actually showing up. But it looks like one of the boxes didn't load and none of the fragments for the Cyclops did. It could be because I went in the back way. Ooh, this bad. But we'll see what we can pick up here. Yeah, standardly you'll jump up there. Oh crap. Okay, well, I don't think I'm gonna... it doesn't look like I'm gonna get very far. Thanks to my own screw. Oh. Ah! Doesn't look like I'll get very far, thanks to my own mistakes. Man, you think this water pouring in here would get rid of the fire. Yeah, so, standardly in here, you would repair these with the repair tool. So we'll pick up our power, our Cyclops power for efficiency module. Oh. And our secondary fire extinguisher. And then we'll head backwards and see where we get to. Oh no. Yeah, okay, so we can't get very far. Shoot. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. Glad to know I uh, made a good effort into just wasting time. Okay, well, I'm going to exit, but I'm not going to let me have make you watch me run through this place for five minutes and go back to base. So. I will once again cut it here, and I will jump back here because I one of the doors I couldn't open with the repair tool, I believe is where the sea moth is hidden behind. So see you in a bit. Okay, we're back. I have brought with me my repair tool. Zappy, zappy, zappy. Uh, so yeah, now. Now. Ah, oh, no, stay away, you bastard. Fuck off, fuck off. Get out of there. God, I hate those things. Oh god, thank god, it's here. Ho ho ho! Okay! So the sea moth is here. There's one fragment. No, 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 no. There's two fragments, and I'd already collected one. So I have it now. Not only that, there's also a pressure compensator in here. Oh, that's so nice to see. I think that's. Whoa. I think that's all that's in here. And until I have a laser cutter, that's all I can do. But that's okay. Because that's all we want it to do. For now, anyways. I mean, yeah, I do want to get rid of the radiation and everything. But, wow. This take a lot of damage. The Cyclops stuff still hasn't reappeared. We'll have to wait till we make our third... Uh, fourth run, is it, of this place? But that's okay. 
for my fourth run, I won't... I'll do that out, out of video. There's no sense in watching me do the same thing four times. Ah! Release that vehicle bay. Okay. I released it. Well, it doesn't seem to be working. Silly game. You don't release it, you equip it. Then release it. Because science... It also has a bad habit of drifting while you're on it. Apparently not this time. Well, no, yeah, it is. Oh, I need my two glasses. What it is. Yeah, so it drifts forward while you're on it. You can pick it up at any time. You just gotta jump off, I think. Uh, I think I have two, my two glass in here. Yeah, okay. Uh, standardly... Team off! Try to continue to meet your recommended weekly exercise cool and swimming is fantastic for your glutes and endorphin levels. Oh, good. I, I'm worried about making it off this planet alive. And, uh... Oh, that is not what we wanted to do. I'm worried about making it off this planet alive. And the computer is worried about my glutes. No, no, don't hit it. Oh. Uh, I don't have anything. Okay. Um, I also need to make a rebreather. Because we're going to skip. I think we'll skip the laser cutter for now. And we'll go explore. If I can. Whenever I can find it. Um one of the bonuses of the game. I need... Uh, one of my waters. Uh, two of my waters for now. Uh, just one. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, a little drinky juice. And we need to... Where's my rebreather? Here we go. A wiring kit and fiber mesh. Well! I guess it's a good thing I accidentally did make that wiring kit then. Uh, wherever it is. It's in the other one. Dang it. Fiber mesh. Silicon. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... We're actually gonna head down to the Mushroom Forest. Uh... Probably in... My knife's off. Probably in the next episode. Despite my meandering around here, we are going to uh, cut this episode here. And uh, next episode, I will start with whatever I've wanted to collect so that we can head down into the mushroom forest. Oh, bye.